in the Greater Banjul area mostly during the morning and that was as is a huge challenge to commuters there. Now still with the news during rainy seasons in the Gambia, floods in bad road networks are two of the dominant challenges faced by citizens in most parts of the country. Now in the past years, floods have caused damages to properties due to heavy downpours and sometimes even lead to loss of lives. Now since then, authorities and the estate agency of Javan have been working to mitigate the suffering of the residents in Javan estate by addressing this plot and constructing a good road network. Now with the construction of the road, the residents hope that it will be a mitigation factor to heaving flooding like the one they experienced last year. Let's hear details of that in this report. Last year's heavy flooding has resulted in massive damages including properties and lives while others were rendered homeless. In August last year, the flood destroyed over 30 households, rendered many homeless and caused the closure of a praying mosque in the estate. In order to mitigate a reoccurrence of such, Gambia government is now putting a plan for a waterway for the easy flow of water during the rainy season, especially heavy downpour. Speaking to iAfrica TV, one Usman who works around the vicinity described ongoing construction work as a welcoming development, saying that the water could have its way through instead of stagnating on the roads. <laughs> I work here and last year rain disturbed the residents here, but this year they are working on it, they are creating ways for the water to pass through, so when there are heavy rains the water will not stay stagnant, but rather it will flow away easily. And the good thing is that the work they are doing, especially digging holes for waterway, is not disturbing the residents. Rather, they are doing it in a way that immediately there's rain and the water will have a way to flow. Mam Ali, also a resident of Jabang Estate, expressed happiness with the current construction work, but however expressed concern about the safety of children with the manhole that are left open on the roads. Honestly, this is a good start, but our main concern right now is the dark holes and our children, because the kids normally play in the waters, and if it rains, you will not be able to see the holes. But if at all they put some barricade around these holes, then it will not affect the kids, because children nowadays run around the waters and the work is just starting. The manholes are expected to provide waterways to allow water to flow easily when there is heavy downpour to avoid the occurrence of flooding that could cause serious loss of properties and lives and can even render people homeless. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Maria Macham.